I wanted to talk today about men who have uh, incontinence after prostate surgery <clears throat> because they need to know that there is a solution to it and that they can regain the control that they want and need. And so today I have a patient who I've been seeing for a couple of months and he has regained almost all of his control at this point. So I would like for you to just tell them what's happened with you and how it's worked okay. for you. After prostate surgery, uh, my condense was uh, terrible. Uh, a fruit jar uh, is, is what I used most of the time and went through 10 or 12 of those pads or diapers or whatever we want to call them a day. And uh, then I started coming here and it started at first real slow. Uh, my, my strength of the, of the pelvic muscles and all was, was not where it should be. But uh, probably in about four to six weeks, I started to, uh, finding that I had more and more and more control. Uh, after about eight weeks, I went uh, uh, one day uh, without even really needing a pad, but I kept it on for fear of, of uh, soiling myself. And uh, it just progressively got better. I went 48 hours without doing it. And finally, I guess in the, probably the seventh or eighth week, I started uh, uh, not using a pad at all, uh, except when I went to church or was going to uh, some special event for fear of maybe sneezing or coughing. Uh, but I went from the fruit jar to I'm probably about 99.5 or better now. Uh, it just gets better every time and seeing yourself on the, on the uh, scope of the computer, controlling that muscle uh, allows you to isolate that muscle. Uh, otherwise, you'll never know that you've got that muscle. I never knew that muscle was there until we started this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pelvic muscles are strengthening and That's getting right. better all the time. Yeah. And it's something I'll probably have to keep going for quite a while, uh, uh, even after I leave therapy, just to keep it uh, strong because you never want to regress. Uh, no, you don't. And so, in just a little bit, I'm going to show you the computer. He is going to show you what his muscles will now do. All right, so now when I ask you to, I want you to squeeze hard and let go. This is called a flick score. Okay. Now squeeze hard and let go. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Now the next time you're going to do a 10 second hold. So when you get to the area, you're going to squeeze and hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to relax for a minute and let those muscles recover and then we're going to exercise again. Now when you get back to the area you're going to squeeze and hold it for 10 seconds. And it feels like when you're squeezing that your muscles are staying the same all the time. But you can look at the picture and determine they are not. They do get tired. getting a little tired. They're tired. Yeah, they're getting tired. But they're working so much better.
Ooh, that's a workout. <laughs> now, when you started, your flick score was 10 and now it's 60. And your 10 second hole was 7.5 microvolts and now it's 35. So everything has gotten much better. That's mm -hmm. why you have gotten back to 99.5% control. That's a true statement. You'd never know that you had that muscle without that. Because you strain, I do, just to try to get it to really work. Mm -hmm. And it takes that monitor to show me which one that I'm supposed to be using. And it allows me to strengthen it quicker. And regain control. And regain control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the whole purpose, isn't it? That's the whole purpose. I just wanted to show you what muscle energy can do for you and what it can do to regain your control of your bladder issues. And so you just need to know what is available out there and how it can help you and get you back to 100% control.